Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Hearthland Strategy and Tactics Housing Block Preview. So I am still diving into this game, learning its, its nuances, its details, its minutia, um, and uh, just uh, generally honing my skills. However, I have, after much testing, stumbled upon a very good block of housing uh, that one can build. So I figured, you know what, before the strategy and tactics series proper, let's do a quick tip video. Consider this episode zero. Uh, it'd still be a week or two before uh, the main series starts, but it will start. Start. So, what uh, what is this housing block? Since that seems to be uh, uh, pretty popular on my channel here, well, I'll show you. Uh, so, this housing block can be done right from the start of the game, um, and it is modular, meaning you can replicate it end to end um, and uh, to get additional housing plots. But today, we're just going to build one. So what you want to do is want to pick yourself out a, uh, a, a plot of land to start on. I'm just going to build right here. Um, I'll go into the details of starting locations uh, in my series proper. So what you want to do is start off by um, measuring uh, at least five spaces away from the edge or, in, or a water barrier if that's where you are. You need to give yourself at least five empty spaces. One, two, three, four, five draw yourself a little road as a marker. Um, now, what you want to do on this side... Um, all right, so we can't build too close to the spider den, as evidenced by this black checker mark, is you need to give yourself at least three spaces on this side oh, uh, from, from another edge. So, one, two, three... Go ahead and throw down your first housing plot right there. Uh, go ahead and clear out uh, stuff as necessary. All right, so the way this block works is you're going to have a line of six housing plots. One, two, three, four. Oops, that's not correct. Five and six. Now, with one space in between these on this side, you're going to do another six. You can click and drag to get yourself some housing plots. There you go. And a nice little road right down the middle. Um, now, right here on the back half of this side here, you want to go to your beautification panel here. Uh, because one of the aspects that houses require, in addition to a lot of goods, food, alcohol, and other necessities, um, is a nice, pretty environment. Uh, they will not grow beyond th certain thresholds unless the, uh, the, the, the beauty of an area is at a certain level. This helps ensure that there is lots of beauty. So what you want to do is go here and grab this flower pot here. You want a line of flower pots right here along the back exactly as long as the housing plots are. You're going to want to do, go ahead and do it to this side too. Now you want to grab the fancy tree um, and do exactly the same thing to the back of these flower pots. Fancy trees, fancy trees. Yes, this is a little expensive. It's worth it. Um, and then if, um, and then what you want to do is for this side, we're done. Because uh, we're not growing on this side any further. We're going to grab another thing of uh, our uh, flower plots here. Bada boom. Just like so. So you want flower plots on either side of the trees, at least that are facing zones. Now, by facing zones, I mean we've got more zones to build. Yes, this housing block is not just this little strip here. We've got more to share, more to do. So we're going to get another line of houses right along here. Give ourselves a little road here and go ahead and link this road bottom and top like so and ourselves another line of houses and of course we cannot forget about the beautification on these guys row of flowers row of fancy trees so this my friends also you can get rid of this little this little marker this little uh, uh lead area here so this, my friends, is our housing block. Now, it's featured. Well, it's almost it's done. We've, we've got a few more things to add. Uh, some essentials, for example. Um, we need a peddler's tent. Uh, peddler is how you get the goods to your people. Uh, so we're going to put the peddler's tent right up here. Boop, like so. 
Uh, we also need an apothecary to distribute the medicine. That's going up there. Now, there's other infrastructure buildings that we need to add to this, but in order to do that, we need to build ourselves a town hall. Now, the town hall is a unique building. Um, you only need one of these in your entire city. So the town hall's placement is not part of the block because you're not going to be placing other copies of the town hall. So we just got to put it somewhere. I'm going to put it, let's say, right here. Nothing else is going to go right here. Boop. Right then. So, with the town hall place, we have access to other our other infrastructure buildings, namely the little ones. The tax office goes up here, and uh, the constabulary goes up here. I probably butchered that name, but there you got the four little purple buildings up on the top. Now, for the other uh, buildings that help support this housing block, the library. Um, once you get your houses grown to level four or higher, the librarian's going to wander around and harvest, uh, lore from your houses, which basically allows you to do research. Um, so this allows these, uh, you know, this housing block to be productive in that sense. And we're going to go ahead and boop, put it right there. Now, next we have the temple, which does the same thing, but for magic. And last but not least, the minstrel's guild, which does the same thing, but for fame. Boop. Now... What are what what are the reasons for this particular bit? This, by the way, is the housing block. It is complete. Here are the reasons for it. Uh, one, if we take a look at our appeal here, every single block has four spaces that it's in that are at the highest appeal uh, for two tiles deep. Two tiles deep of four appeal, and then even there you have a high appeal right here and then only here it's neutral appear along uh, appeal along the road this should allow them to grow to the highest nature without uh any further um um uh, beautification or outside things like these things raise beautification they do not strictly speaking need it um Oh, and I just realized that this thing um, uh, lowers appeal a little bit. Well, you may want to put in a little bit of uh, extra appeal-y stuff right around here just to combat that. Um, but anyway, um, the other reasons for this is this is 24 housing plots. Uh, this allows you to um, uh, keep this uh, particular group of citizens medicated um, by off of one herbalist guild. Uh, because one herbalist guild can keep uh, keep up with um, 24 plots of houses. Uh, how much food and other necessities they require will depend on how high you grow them. But like I said, since the beautification here is nice and high, you should be able to grow them as high as you can based on the goods that are available. Now, the other nice thing about these, and I will get into this, is... When it comes to connecting this housing block to your uh, industrial area, um, you can use the peddler as sort of a disconnected, uh, well, not a disconnected, you can use the storage yard as a disconnected connect between that and that. I'll show that, that uh, technique more to you later on. Um, but the other nice thing is you can duplicate this. You, they do not have to have their roads attached to each other, uh, but what you can do is just lay them end to end. So you could do another line of flower beds here, another line of um, zones here, and then you could do another one, two, three, four, and you'd have yourself another 24 housing plots, um, which allows you to sort of copy paste and grow your, your city as your supply of goods uh, and your need for labor demands it. All right, folks. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, housing block quick tip uh, to see this in action and also to see lots of other uh, uh, tips and strategies, which I am developing. Uh, stay tuned to my channel. The series should be debuting in about a week or so. So if you like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment, good, bad or indifferent. Your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya.